Hey friends, I hope you're doing well today. I woke up this morning thinking about my what kind of page I wanted to do today and I knew I wanted to start with a black background. And then I went on to my Facebook group, my art journaling group, and the first post I saw was somebody that did uh, an abstract drawing with a black background and I thought, oh, how inspiring, how perfect. So um, I just used regular acrylic paints that I got from who knows where, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, nothing fancy, and just shellacked it on the, the back, and dried it a little bit, and then went to my handy dandy go-to white Uniball Signo pen that you can get for like six or seven dollars for a three pack on Amazon. And I really like, I, I realized they, they work a lot better over acrylics. Um, I was working with them last time over watercolors and they, the water, the dryness of a dry water, watercolor would kind of, I don't know, like suck the ink a little bit, so, but they work really well over acrylic. So I started with my white, then, um, I mean the next, the rest of this video is just pretty much just kind of intuitive. There's, there's not really specific instructions other than, you know, grab your, your paint pens. These are my favorite acrylic markers that I've found so far. I haven't tried it. I did get two different sets and I'm going to force myself to use the other set because as you'll see here in just a second, I, um, I already ran out of the, of the orange. So I'm using this other set right here and you can tell it just does not cover. Um, I mean, I am putting it on black, but still it's just, the vibrancy is not there. Um, it flows, it feels more like a felt tip marker than a paint pen or paint marker. So, but I am gonna force myself to make a page with them um, just on white paper to see if I can get some good use out of them. Um, so that'll probably be my next page. I've noticed is I'm very hesitant to paint over anything I've already done um, even like making that purple line at the top that went through my little oval um, no I'm not talking about embellishing an area but actually blocking out an area or going over it through it I don't know so when I realize I do that I'm trying to um, just challenge myself to kind of break out of my own little boxes Something I want to be really careful of when using acrylics is not smudging them. Like right there, I smudged all those little yellow dots at the bottom. But instead of fixing them right away, I thought I'd try to let them dry and see if I could go over them later and fix them. I end up doing something totally different. You know, sometimes you just take your oopses and exercise your creative muscles and figure out how you can turn an oops into something new.
where I decide to try to cover up my smudges. I don't mind imperfections and mistakes or, um, in fact, I embrace mistakes. I don't, mad, or I don't mind flaws in my artwork, but smearing and smudges, they, that does bother me. <laughs> so I figured, how can I make a little bit? Now the yellow needs, I noticed it always needs a couple of layers to make it really cover the black. I mean, you are going light and dark. So here's where I did another stupid thing, <laughs> which I knew better. Oh, why I did that? I grabbed, it's a Sharpie brand pen, but it's a gel pen and it is not alcohol based like normal Sharpies are, it's water based. So as I am doing the Mod Podge, I realize I am totally smudging and smearing a lot of the, like, what I'm pointing to right there. Um, so to fix that, even after the Mod Podge, you can still go in over the Mod Podge and fix things that got smudged and smeared. So I did a lot of that. So, and I ended up having to kind of, sometimes the only way to, to fix it is just to cover it all up and start over. But as long as you're happy with the final product, you know, it's part of the process is, and, you know, just fixing what you don't like or embracing it. There's nothing wrong with getting to the end of the page and looking at it and going, well, not my favorite page. <laughs> Although I do, do like how this turned out. I think it looks even better through the camera lens than it does in real life. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. So here's my final page. I hope you enjoyed watching my process. See you next time.